What is happening everyone? Welcome back to another video in my channel. Today is going to be the last day of your ads ever getting rejected on Facebook. You know that mainly my channel is talking about restrictions, getting your ad account disabled, permanently bans and stuff like that. And one of the stupidest things getting restricted for is getting your ads rejected. I still don't understand why people get their ads rejected nowadays when you have so many tools, AI, automations, and even my clients sometimes ask me to go ahead and review their ad copy or their ads and tell them if I think if they are compliant or not and yes i almost have a decade in running facebook ads but even with that i will never rely on myself of constantly being up to date with new facebook ads policies when we have so many tools out there that can help us do it in much more accurate way and that takes me to this meta compliance checker that i've built myself so essentially it's a free gpt assistant tool that i've created that can tell you if your ad is compliant within seconds in just simple few clicks now as i mentioned before it's fully free and i will explain you how you can get access to it in just a bit as well as sharing with you how you can actually go ahead and build something like that yourself so what we need to do over here is click on this first option over here which is going to check if your ad copy is compliant you can also check image ads you can also get some suggestions and check video scripts as well so let's start with an ad copy so we'll click on it and now as you can see it asks us to actually go ahead and paste our ad copy so let's go ahead and paste it and then hit send all right, and there you go. As you can see, as simple as that, it tells you straight away if this ad copy is compliant or not. And it's saving you all this jazz and, you know, paragraphs of different useless information that you don't actually need to know. And you simply want to get a yes or no answer. Now, let's see what happens if your ad copy is actually not compliant. So I'm simply going to paste it over here. I'm not going to give it any additional prompts or anything like that. Simply paste it over here and hit send. And as you can see, it's already detecting some violation. It gives you straight away the violation policy and it also gives you what is actually violating and gives you an option of like an alternative text for it and as you can see it actually spit out a full revised ad copy that is still the same ad copy it didn't change the structure the tone it simply changed the words that violates facebook ads policies with the ones that actually are compliant now to double check that we'll simply copy this ad copy again and paste it over here again and hit send and boom, as you can see, now this ad copy is fully compliant with Meta Ads policies. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for image ads. So all we have to do is click right over here and click on new chat. And now we're going to click on the second option, which is, is my ad image safe to use? And it will ask you to upload your image ad. And we'll start with one that is compliant. This ad is one of my client's ads. So let's go ahead and hit send. Cool. And as you can see, again, it tells us that this ad is fully compliant with Facebook ads policies. Now, again, let's go ahead and test it with one that is not compliant. And as I mentioned before, you don't have to put anything, no prompts, no nothing. Simply go ahead and upload your image. All right. And as you can see, it already detects a problem. So as you can see, this text over here might be violating Facebook ads policies, which is a top title over here. And it already gives you some alternatives over here that you can go ahead and use. And something that is even crazy, you can see that it actually detects the text in this small box over here. And this box over here is containing the words Altitis Media and this long text that's a little bit hard for me to read. But essentially, it implies that this treats medical conditions. As you can see, this assistant tells you over here to avoid mentioning these things unless you actually have the approval for it which in that case with this product you need to have an fda approval so if you do have the approval it's all good but look how detailed it is it gives you a straightforward answer with no fluff and actionable steps to make it fully compliant now regarding video scripts it's pretty much the same as ad copy simply go ahead and click on the new chat and then click on video script submit it and then it will tell you if it's compliant or not and if it's not it will simply change the text for you now how we can actually access this tool super simple it will be in the first link in the description you'll get an invite link for using this meta ads compliance checker and the good thing about it is that i'm using it myself and i'm making sure that it's always up to date and it's always using the facebook ads policies page to make sure that it's always compliant now if you don't want to be using my own tool which again is free and if you don't i don't really know why you can go ahead and create something like that yourself so essentially all you have to do is you need to get the facebook ads policies page over here you can go ahead and simply google it and get to this page over here there are a couple more policies which i include in myself which are going to be these three policies over here so you need to open them in separate links and then include them as well in your prompt and then you want to go back into chat gpt and you want to feed him with this information give the links to those policies and then go ahead and submit your ad copy or image ad and ask it if it's compliant or not keep in mind that you are not going to get as straightforward answers like my chat gpt assistant because it took me several hours to craft this prompt so it will be perfect as you saw in this video so again highly recommend to go ahead and use it the link is going to be down in the description 
One thing that I want to mention is that you need to have the paid plan of ChatGPT. Honestly, I don't really know people that do digital marketing that don't have the $20 plan of ChatGPT. And if not, you will simply have to copy all the text from Meta Ads Policies page and paste them manually into ChatGPT. And you will not have the feature of uploading an image to check if it's compliant or not, because again, it's only available in the pro plan of the $20 a month. And honestly, if you cannot afford 20 bucks a month on ChatGPT, you probably shouldn't be running Facebook ads anyway. So hopefully you took some value out of this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some other videos right over here. Thank you so much for watching, amigos. And until the next one, peace.